but of the time. Let's jump straight away to the first part of our agenda. Our agenda today is having four steps. Uh, first step is a general architecture of our framework. It's, um, it's going to be really like simple overview, what is going to be inside of our framework and how is this going to look like. Um, second part, it's a quick folder structure overview. That's going to be really simple part, two minutes. Um, and the third part, webpack configuration. Um, a webpack has been configured already. Uh, and it's there, I'm just going to show how it has been configured and what it's inside. I'm going to do it for us, and generate image is going to bind our images. And obviously everything goes to generate JS. That is really a simple overview, how it works. There is more things inside, um, but this is just really simple overview. Um, here is a simple overview of how, where our framework starts from. It starts from basically from uh, bind values. Um, it's a really important function for us because this function does everything regarding our binding. Uh, that is going to happen, not whole function does everything. It's basically uh, calling other function to do it for us. And we are uh, passing observables and observer status as a parameters. Then we have really important function that it's being called check bindings. Uh, check bindings, uh, it's sort of uh, like we've got call center, right? Like ambulance call center, and they are passing, they are passing to, to the people, they are, they are uh, getting the call from the people and they are passing to the specific ambulance. This is what's gonna happen with check bindings function. It's going to pass to the specific functions and do everything that we need regarding binding. So it's going to recognize all of the bindings that we are requesting for. Another uh, two things that is happening from check bindings is generate list, it generate image. Um, this function I uh, talked about already, and there are three dots. Three dots means that there is more functions that are going to interact with our check bindings function. The last 